The official newspaper files of the early West record many stories of famous and notorious characters of that period. Augustine Chacon, a Mexican bandit who terrorized the Southwest in the late 1890s. This desperado was one of the most ruthless killers who ever operated on the Mexican border. Not much of a hideout for the great Mexican bandit, Augustine Chacon. All right, amigo. No one would ever look for him here. You're always here at the right moment, Felicia. Yes, but will you always be here, Chanton? No. <laughs> One day I will cross the border into Arizona and buy that hotel. Maybe then I will send for you. Buy an American hotel? See, si. I need headquarters on both sides of the border. I will have an American partner, of course, but... Agustin Chacon will run the place. How soon will this happen? I need a little more money. And maybe here it comes up. Adios. It's Americano, Chacon. I'm Slim Hawkins. I'm from Texas. Sit down. I'll give it to you straight and fast. My partner and I want to get back into the States. What's keeping you? Texas Rangers. We'd like to give the Texas a wide berth, maybe go up into Arizona. What is wrong? Don't you like Mexico? We'd like to spend our money in the States, where we got it. Maybe you should leave some of that money behind. How about a thousand ahead? Cash on delivery when you get us over there. Two thousand dollars, that isn't much. You know, the Rangers are patrolling the Arizona border now. Make it 3,000 even, American dollars. It's a deal, senor. Tomorrow? Say. Amigos, the train will be here very soon. Good. Now let us out of here. You know, I had to shoot a couple of rangers in order to bring you here safely. That'll cost you a little more money. All right. Make it four thousand. Four thousand dollars. You got twenty-five thousand when you robbed that bank in El Paso. How do you know? <laughs> Agustin Chacon knows everything. All right, you. Dirty double-crossing. I want all the money you have left from the robbery. Come on. All right. You win. Gracias, senor. That's all the money I've got. Open up. We got a flag down a train. I'm very sorry. But Agustin Chacon leaves no witnesses. Come on, get us out of here. Todo está bien, Pablo. Open up. Let us out.
locomotive hits a deliberately stalled wagon and kills two men, it's my business. I'm Matt Clark, railroad detective. My partner, Margaret Jones, and Captain Mossman of the Arizona Rangers were just as interested as I was. The dead men had been identified as the Texas outlaws who held up the El Paso Bank and got away with $25,000. You think there might be some connection between the murdered rangers and the dead outlaws? Yeah, I'm sure there is. Matt, take a look at this. There's a name stamped on this lock, Aztec. Aztec. Could that be the trademark of the lock company? No, I don't think so. Wait a minute. There's an Aztec mining company about 50 miles below the border. Yeah. Now, this wagon, crates, could be from a mine at that. You know, Jonesy, it looks like we're going to take a trip down to old Mexico. But I don't know about your going into Mexico. You have no jurisdiction down there. Yeah, I know. But the Mexican police have cooperated with me before, especially in cases of deliberate murder. Yeah, but this mine is right in the middle of bandit country. Maybe you ought to leave Miss Jones here. Investigation is my job, too, you know. All right, if you insist. I'd better go along and fix it with the Border Patrol. All right, let's go. The Mexican authorities gave us full cooperation. They also promised us protection while we were in the bandit country. Yes, it's my lock, all right. I've still got an extra key to fit it. Reminds me of something I'd rather forget. Lost two of my best boys that day, shot down in cold blood. Those bandits come out of the mountains and drove me clean. They took my flat wagon to haul it off with. Did you get a good look at any of them? Yes. The leader was Agustin Chacon. Could you give us any information at all about him? Who he knows, where he hangs out? As I told the police, he's got a girlfriend in Alto. She works in the cantina there. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Mendez. You've been a great help to us. I'm not going to learn much with that bodyguard hanging around. Yeah. We'll have him wait for us outside of town. Let's go. Sí, señorita. Very hot. Yes, I know. The last time I made the mistake of using too much. Was you here before? Certainly. And who could forget the best chili in old Mexico? Gracias, señorita. The last time I uh, was served by a very pretty girl. Where is she? Ah, Felisa. She's not here anymore. You know what happened? No, what happened? Uh, she was moose. She went to Arizona only two hours ago. Will she be back? No, senorita. She would not be back. Well, thank you very much. Two hours ago for Arizona. Arizona. It takes in a lot of territory. The only way she'd get there would be by stage. Now, the stage leaves a town like this about once a week, headed for Bisbee. That's a transfer point to Nogales Human Tucson in Arizona. You sound more like a train conductor than a detective. Make up your mind. Which one? I don't know. But if we beat that stage to Bisbee, we might be able to find out. Let's go. We caught up with the stagecoach and passed it about 30 miles below the border. We kept riding hard and got to Bisbee, Arizona, well ahead of it. I think we ought to separate. You check into the hotel, I'll wait here. Stage ought to be in any minute. Do you 
have a single room. But of course you have. You always have a room for a beautiful senorita like... Uh, Margaret Jones. Enchanted senorita Jones. May I introduce myself? I am Manuel Ortiz, a uh, permanent guest of the hotel. The girl who just got off the stagecoach had to be the one we were waiting for. I watched her go into the hotel. I was sure Jonesy would keep an eye on her at the hotel. Meanwhile, I had to bring Captain Mossman up to date on developments. I had wired him to meet me at the local ranger's office in town. I was glad to get your wire, Matt. I've been wanting to talk to you. What's up? Well, one of my men found an escaped convict, Harry Biggins, on the railroad tracks only two miles from the border. Same way the Texas outlaws were found? Exactly. Wagon, crate, everything. Sounds like Shea Khan's work. We picked up the trail of his girlfriend, led here to the hotel. I got Jonesy staked out to keep an eye on her. Well, that sounds good. Shake on sure to try and get in touch with his girlfriend sooner or later. By the way, I got a good description of him. He's about six foot two, dark, good looking Mexican, and a flair for American women. That's good. I'll pass that information on to Jonesy. Yeah. And be sure to remind her, Shake on leaves no witnesses. He's already killed 29 Americans. She understands that. As a matter of fact, it's very pleasant. There's a charming guest at the hotel, a Mexican, tall, dark, and handsome. Of course, he has the roving eye, and he uh, flirted with me. I'm not interested in your love life, Jonesy. Now, get to the point. What about Shakin's girlfriend? She's a real beauty. Shakin has taste. I spotted her in the hotel when she came in. Uh-huh. Well, keep your eyes open. Hey, this uh, Mexican you were just telling me about. Is he tall, slender, good-looking? That's right. And, if I may add, a very charming personality. Yeah? Well, for your information, this Mexican Don Juan of yours fits the description of Chaykin. Captain Mossman just told me about it. Well, it could be Chaykin, but he told me his name was Ortiz. He doesn't seem like a killer. Mm-hmm. Well, you just spend some time with him. Chances are he's her man. Sometimes I think you keep your heart in the wallet with your badge. <laughs> never seen her before. Are you sure? She was asking for you at the cantina. I cannot understand why. I will find out. Buenos dias, senorita Jones. Good morning, Mr. Ortiz. Excuse me, senorita, but I am a little puzzled. Oh? Why is a beautiful lady like you alone in a town like this? I want to be alone. You see, uh, I'm expecting my brother. He's a mining engineer. So, a mining engineer. Maybe you have been with him to my country. No, I'm afraid I've never had the pleasure of visiting Mexico. Maybe you should. Mexico is such a beautiful country. Maybe I'd better... Oh, I'm a clumsy ox. Look what I've done to the senorita's dress. Well, it's nothing serious. I'll fix it. No, senorita, I cannot let you do it yourself. Pablo! Take the senorita up to Felicia's room. She will be glad to mend the dress for you. But I don't think that's necessary. You better go with Pablo, senorita. Thank you, Mr. Ortiz. Oh, well, hello, Matt. You know, Captain, I've been thinking about finding Biggins' body along the railroad tracks, like those Texas outlaws. It's beginning to follow a pattern. Maybe Shea Khan arranges to smuggle the outlaws across the border for a price and then double-crosses them. Could be that's the way he operates. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Only thing is, we can't prove it. Yeah. But I've got a plan that might work. You know, Captain, I'm way ahead of you. 
I think I will be able to mend this dress so that it doesn't show at all. Well, don't fuss with it too much, Felicia. It's just an old dress. Why did you ask about me in the cantina? I didn't ask about you. You lie, senorita. You were recognized. Maybe you are a detective looking for someone. You're mistaken. Now give me that dress. Get in there. Go on. When do you mend the dress with a pistol, senorita? No, Felicia, no! No, Felicia! She tried to kill me! My dove, wait for me downstairs. I would like to learn more about senorita Jones myself. Go on, do as I say. We won't need this. You know, senorita, you're a very attractive woman for a detective. What makes you think I'm a detective? <laughs> Agustin Chacon's no fool. So you admit to being Chacon? Sure, why not? It doesn't matter now. For a gringa, senorita Jones, you look like a woman with fire. Why do you want to be a detective? It's so unromantic. Why do you want to be a bandit? You've got looks, brains, a certain amount of charm, and yet you've got the worst reputation on the border. When I was a little boy, I promised myself I would be important. And you think killing people makes you important? The world is full of people, many of them deserve to be killed. You're even worse than I thought you were. Maybe I'm not so bad. I've never killed a woman. So I'm going to be the first, is that it? Maybe. Later. What do you want? Excuse me, Chacon, but there is somebody downstairs who wants to see you. Why do you bother me with such trifles? It's not a trifle. This hombre has much money with him. Oh, I see. You wait here with the senorita. Watch her carefully. She's a wildcat. But beautiful. Remember, shoot if you have to, but don't touch. Buenos dias. Howdy. Look, I gotta get across the border to Sonora right away. How can I help you? Quit stalling. I broke out of the Colorado pen with Harry Pickens. Said he was coming here. Well, you got him across, didn't you? But of course. What about me? Very well, but I'll take your gun. You wait right here. We will leave at once. Get the wagon ready. What will you do with La Senorita? Take her with us. Senorita Joe's last visit to Mexico was too short. Check up! Kid, run it out on your bill? No, she's a detective. Detective, eh? What are you gonna do with her?
Elisha Khan was not killed by that train. He lived to stand trial in Solomonville, Arizona. On August 18th, 1902, he was sentenced to die by hanging. That will be the tightest collar I will ever wear. But then you can't always ask for a perfect fit. Augustine Chacon had killed 29 Americans and at least 80 of his own countrymen. Yet this cold-blooded killer went to his death smiling. What's the matter, Matt? You look sorry. I am. I'm sorry we didn't catch him sooner. If we had, we'd have saved 109 lives. Let's go. Adios, amigos. 